Welcome to part two of our lesson. Welcome to part two of our lesson. We are continuing now. Now we must understand that consumers see products as complex bundles of benefits that satisfy their needs. When developing products, marketers first must identify the core customer value that consumers seek from the product. They must then design the actual product and find ways to augment it to create this, this customer value and the most satisfying customer experience. Now, we're going to go to product and service class classifications in this next segment products and services fall into two broad classes based on the types of consumers that use them you have consumer products and you have what industrial products broadly defined products also include other marketable entities such as experiences organizations persons places and ideas As I said before, we have different classes of products. We have what we call what? consumer products and what? Industrial products. We're going to look at consumer products first. No, consumer, consumer products now are products and services bought by final consumers for personal consumption. If I were you, I would pause the video, write these things down. If you, if it are, don't look, make sure you don't know the PowerPoint or anything. Marketers usually classify these products and services further based further based on how consumers go about buying them. So go again. Consumer products are products and services bought by what? Final consumers for personal consumption. Alright? And marketers usually classify these products and services further based on how consumers are go about buying them. Now, consumer products include convenience products, shopping products, specialty products, and unsold products. These products differ in ways in the ways consumers what, buy them, and therefore in how they are what, marketed. So there are different types of consumer products. Now you have convenience products, shopping products, specialty products, and unsold products. I'm go again. Remember, I said that marketers usually what classify these products and services further based on what. How consumers go about buying them let's look at these now first one is what convenience products a consumer product a convenience product now is a consumer product that customers usually buy frequently immediately and with minimal comparison and buying effort examples include what laundry detergent candy magazines and what fast food remember a consumer product a convenience product, sorry, is a consumer product that customers usually what, buy frequently, immediately, and with minimal comparison and buying effort. Examples are what, laundry detergent, candy, magazines, and fast food. These are all what, convenience products. Convenience products are usually low priced, and marketers place them in many locations to make them readily available when customers need or want them. All right, this is a characteristic of um, convenience products. Next one is what? Shopping products. A shopping product is a consumer product that the customer, in the process of selecting and purchasing, usually compares on such attributes as what? Suitability, quality, price, and style. When buying shopping products and services, consumers spend much time and effort in gathering information and making what? Comparisons. Examples include furniture, clothing, used cars, major appliances, and hotel and airline services. Shopping products, mar marketers usually distribute their products to fewer outlets, but provide deeper sales support to help customers in their what, comparison efforts. Next one is what I call now, specialty products. A specialty product is a consumer product with unique characteristics or brand identification 
for which a significant group of buyers is willing to make a special purchase effort. Examples include specific brands of cars, high priced photographic equipment, designer clothes, and the services of medical or legal specialists. So a BMW could very well be our specialty product. Why? Because it has unique characteristics or brand identification for which a significant group of buyers is willing to what, make a special purchase effort. So a rich man will buy a BMW. Alright. A Lamborghini automobile, for example, is a specialty product because buyers are usually willing to travel great distances to buy one. Buyers normally do not compare specialty products. They invest all the time needed to reach dealers carrying the wanted products. Alright. Next type of consumer product now is unsold products. An unsold product, unsold products is a consumer product that the customer either does not know about or knows about but does not normally consider buying. Most major new innovations are unsold you until the consumer becomes aware of them through advertising. Classic examples of, un, of known but unsold products and services are life insurance, planned funeral services, and blood donations to Red Cross. By their very nature, unsold products require a lot of advertising, personal selling, and other marketing efforts. Now we'll look at industrial products now. Alright. Industrial products are those purchased for further purchasing or for use in conducting a business. Please make sure that you pause the video as you go along to write the notes and make note of these things, all right? So again, industrial products are those purchased for further processing or for what? Use in the conducting a business. Now, remember, when you talk about, so thus the distinction between a consumer product and an industrial product is based on what? The purpose for which the product is being purchased. One is purchased for what? Final use by the for the consumer and one is purchased for what? Using to produce something else. Alright. Let me go back. Remember that consumer products and services are bought by the what? Final consumers for what? Personal consumption. While industrial products are those bought for what? Further processing or for the use in conducting a business. Alright? If a consumer buys a lawnmower for use around the home, the lawnmower is a what? Consumer product. If the same consumer buys the, the same lawnmower for use in a landscaping business, the lawnmower is a what? Is an industrial product. Alright? The three groups of industrial products and services include materials and parts. Capital items and supplies and services. Alright. Materials and parts include raw materials. Let me go again. The three groups of industrial products and services include what? Materials and parts. Capital items and what? Supplies and services. Three different part, different groups. Alright. So look at materials and parts first. Materials and parts include raw materials and manufactured materials and parts. Raw materials in Consists of farm products, for example, wheat, cotton, livestock, fruits, vegetables, and natural products like fish, lumber, crude petroleum, iron ore. Manufactured materials and, and parts consist of component materials, iron, yarn, cement, and wires, and com component parts now, small motors, tires, castings, most manufactured materials and parts are sold directly to what? Industrial consumers. Then look at capital items now. Capital items are industrial products that aid in the buyer's production or operations including installations and accessory equipment. 
Installations consist of major purchases such as buildings, factories or offices, fixed equipment, generators, drill presses, large computer systems, elevators. So capital items again are uh, industrial products that aid in the buyer's production or operations, including installations and what? Accessory equipment. And these are different scenarios or examples. Accessory equipment now includes portable factory equipment and tools, include hand tools and lift trucks. Office equipment now include computers, fax machines, and this. They have a shorter life than installations and simply aid in the what? production process. This is referring to accessory, accessory equipment, all right? The final group of industrial products is what? Supplies and services. Supplies include operating supplies, lubricants, coal, paper, pencils, and repair and maintenance items like paint, nails, and brooms, all right? Supplies are the, conv the convenience products of the industrial field because they are usually purchased with a minimum of effort or comparison. Business services include maintenance and repair services, window cleaning, computer repair, and business advisory services include what? legal management, consulting, advertising. Such services are usually supplied under what? contract. All right. 